In today's video, we're opening one of Yu-Gi-Oh's best tins ever, the Blade Knight tin. What's up guys, we are back with another tin opening, a 2004 tin, nearly 20 years old at this point. We have opened a couple of these recently, Obnoxious Celtic Guardian was actually bought by the same guy who got this Blade Knight tin, Tim. But before we go on about how awesome Tim's opening was previously, we have a giveaway. I'm going to give away these three cards. You want a dragon from DB2, ultimate rare DD trap hole, and a red dragon archfiend secret rare. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below, will Tim top his previous pulls? And make sure to thank him in the comments for a second video. All right, Tim, once again, wanted to come back. He's testing his luck again after pulling insane in the obnoxious Celtic Guardian 10. Go check that video out if you haven't seen it. It was nuts. Tim also mentioned he had a YouTube channel last time and i forgot to link it until like a few hours into the video so i'm gonna remember this time if i forget make sure to spam me in the comments send me a message or something so i get it in there i also grabbed a few packs for myself because tim has incredible luck and if i'm opening for tim maybe i can you know it'll rub off onto me and i'll pull something crazy like that ghost rare dark magician that we've been looking for recently so i am gonna start it off with one of these the old ghost from the past one i'm gonna see if tim's incredible luck can bless me with a ghost share because I have not pulled the Ghost Rare Dark Magician in a couple of years at this point. So I would love to not do it there. Maybe later though in the video we could do it. All right, I am gonna open a couple of packs. Then we will officially crack his 10 open because that's kind of the big event. You know, it's a 2004 10. They're pretty expensive at this point. They're very, very old. Let's see if I can get something good for myself. And then kind of lead into it. That's a Ruxin special. So uh, not starting off the best for old Ruxin over here. Okay, let's crack open the tin. So first of all, let's check it out. Blade Knight. Let me do a little zoom out there. Beautiful looking pack there. One of the reasons this is one of the best tins ever, I will say, is Blade Knight itself is a really awesome promo. Then the packs you can pull, I mentioned this last time, are insane. You get... Ancient Sanctuary, Invasion of Chaos, Dark Crisis, Magician's Force, and Pharaonic Guardian. One of the best lineups of packs ever in a tin, so that's another reason why this is insane, and it's probably the best 2004 tin with like the promos and everything. Obviously, this is an insane tin overall, and hopefully today we have some great luck. All right, let's do it. Let's officially open it up. The wrapping is like super weird on these 2004 tins. Like it's super loose, which you would think is like not legit, but a lot of times it being tight is actually more... Uh, sketchy than like a loose wrap because if it's like super tight then it's more likely someone else resealed it themselves you know because they got it on there really tight and then sealed it up but this one is looking good that's how the obnoxious Celtic guardian looked and obviously that one turned out to be pretty awesome blade knight let's see this promo please be in nice condition that's what we need for tim okay looking promising there sitting a little bit that way oh no little corner nick okay so it's not perfect but it is a pretty nice looking card if you are going to play go format this is the one that you want to throw in there to your uh warrior deck this is just the best version of the card all right now let's get our packs out let's see what we can get obviously we know the packs we just checked them out but they are beautiful no first editions thrown in here by accident ah unfortunate okay so we got the packs out now let's do a uh let's do a quick ghost from the past one we don't want to get too crazy and pop those old packs open just yet almost 20 year old packs some of them are 20 year old packs Backup secretary, come on, can we get something crazy here? Time Thief, we have the Laval Volcano. One day, we are actually going to get that again. Or maybe not, who knows? We're not really sure. Let's do another Wild Survivors. I do have a few packs over here to open. Let's see if I can get a little bit of luck. And maybe Tim, you know what? I want Tim to get better luck again. I'd rather Tim, Tim to get all the luck and... Okay, I thought we actually got something. I'd rather Tim have all the luck than me, to be honest, because Tim bought this tin and I want him to do well. So Tim, the tin buyer. It's a little bit uh, confusing there. Tim and tin. All right, it definitely Ancient Sanctuary first. So this set doesn't have a ton of crazy cards, but it does have the uh, Dark Magic Attack and the Burst Stream of Destruction, which are both pretty cool. Some other cool cards like the cover card. What's the name of that card again? The Archlord Zerato or something like that? We have Kazaki, the original Kazaki, before he has self-destruct button in his studies. Four from the back should do it. We have Desert Sunlight. Spirit Caller calling out the Bones. Watch out, Bones. All right, Blessing of the Nile. We have Legendary Jiu-Jitsu Masters, a crazy common. That's really nice. Kazaki, the man himself. Let's see what this says. A workaholic fiend who devotes everything to his research into the languages of Dark World. His mind is collapsed because of working too hard. That is hilarious. A workaholic fiend. Very nice. Backfire. Three Umblacuda. Earthquake and a special hurricane. Okay, just a rare. If you're gonna get a rare, it's probably you want it to be in the Ancient Sanctuary pack versus the other four. All right, slow start, but no worries. We have a lot more packs to open in this video. Ghost from the past one, I believe in you, baby. You can bless us with an amazing ghost rare. Hieratic Seal. 
Siryaryu, we have the Abysmugir, the Artifact Durandal, and we have the Starry Night Skies. Is that the back-to-back -back Starry Night Skies? Not what I like to see. Okay, let's do the Ferrata Guardian. A lot of great commons and rares in here. As you guys know, it's a really solid set in terms of value when it comes to commons and rares. But the foils are not as crazy as some of the others, but there are some amazing ones like Donzalu, probably my favorite foil in this set. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Can we get something crazy? There are secrets like Lava Golem. And the other one is Ring of Destruction. Cobra Jar, here we go. Metamorphosis, there's the common. I recently noticed this went down to like 350 or something, so it's actually a lot lower than it used to be. Unfortunately, it used to be like an $8 common, but 350 is still pretty solid. Servant of Catabolism, pretty creepy snail, okay. Disturbance Strategy, Needle Wall. Reasoning, what's your reasoning for opening this tin? We'll find out. Master Kianchi. Soul Eater, a living wonder of mystery. Watch out for the Soul Eater. And... Oh, it's a Gravekeeper's Chief. Thought it might be the Don Zalug when I saw that effect version of the card. And then I realized it was not Don Zalug. Gravekeeper's Chief, pretty cool. Super rare already. Tim is just insanely lucky. And a Metamorphosis. That was a good pack. All right, back to our friend Ghost from the Past 1. I believe in you, Ghost from the Past. You can pull me something crazy in honor of Tim being the best opener of all time. We have Starry Night. We have Sunvine Maiden. Tackle Crusader and the evenly matched. There we go. That is something. That's something. I will take it. Evenly matched, like a $6 card. Now, I mean, it's not like it used to be like 30, but still a pretty crazy card. I will take it. It is not nothing. All right. I have a Metal Raiders pack here. Let's open this thing up. Let's see if we can get the Pecanio Moth. I'm going to try for it. Pecanio Moth, a lot of awesome other stuff like, you know, Pale Beast Ruxa 34, a lot of awesome foils. Oh, that's a Ruxa special right off the bat. Morphin, we have the Jellyfish. Ooh, creative name there, Konami. Deep Sea Shark. We have Castle of Dark Illusions. Launcher Spider. The Big Eye. Ooh, okay. We have Shield and Sword. And finally, what will the Pokemon card bring us? The Bistro Butcher, Captain Hook, and his sword. You got to watch out for that guy. Okay, Dark Crisis time. Can we get a Skill Drain and a Foil? In the Wait, no, you can't do that in the originals. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, this is not a reprint pack. Okay, so in that case, we are just going to have to search for a Foil. Exodia Necross, probably the top card. Shinado, which we pulled last time for him. So, Shinado off the table. We don't want to pull a second one. I mean, I would be okay with it, but he probably wants another card. Battle Footballer. Cyborg with high defense power. What does he play? Linebacker. We got the precious cards from Beyond. Goblin of Green. Archfiend's Oath. The Gyaku Geyer Pen. I think this guy burns your opponent, doesn't he? Yeah, pretty annoying. Dark Scorpion, Manet the Thorn. Arsenal Robber. We have Dark Scorpion, Gorg the Strong. And we have Wicked Breaking Flamborg Bow. Not the the droid we're looking for okay not too bad goes for the past one we want to heat up though we want to pull something crazy me and sam are both searching for big cards buster dragon we have miss valley baby rock the monarchs erupt sun avalon dryas and the Red Supernova Dragon, also a pretty decent card. We're getting some decent cards now, back to back for Ghost for the Past 1. Still no Ghost though. I feel like I'm majorly due for one. Let's do my Pharaoh Servant pack here. 25th anniversary, can we get that Genzo? You guys know what Rhyme Style says, let me know in the comments. Here we go. Numinous Healer, we have Kisadai, that little finger, watch out. Bite shoes, uh, do not put those on your feet or your ankles are gonna be killing you. Garuchin, Kuwagata. Invitation to Dark Sleep. The Science Soldier. Soldier of Science, Jarvis. We have Burning Land. Mad Sword Beast. And here we go. Will it be the Genzo? No, it's an island turtle. A huge turtle that is often mistaken for an island. Two more packs. Last time Invasion of Chaos went crazy for us, so I'm going to save that for the end. Can we get another big three member? I don't know. I don't think you can get Dark Magician Girl in here because of the retail, but I'm not totally sure. I don't think I've pulled Diffusion Wave Motion. I don't think I've ever pulled a secret out of a 10 for Magician's Force. So I'm not 100%, but I'm like 90% sure it would be Diffusion Wave Motion. Uh, that's a really annoying card to to find centered as well but one two three four maybe we'll pull a secret right here and find out great angus i'm getting hungry ultimate obedient fiend that is this is a weird card 3500 attack can only attack when there are no other cards in your side of the field and you also have no hand i like how it says no hand no cards it doesn't say no cards in hand it says no hand but if there was a new version of this it would say no cards in hand or something like that this just says no hand so problem can't attack all right we have the uh Destindle. jar robber Sonic Duck, the Frontline Base, that fly, what is this guy called? I think he's a fusion monster. The Decayed Commander, okay, pretty creepy, he's decayed. Physical Double, and finally, what are these things? There's like lizard people? I don't know what they are. And finally, 
Ooh, the skilled white magician. Another super rare. Two foils so far. Nothing insane, but two foils are not bad. I mean, skilled white magician is definitely a really cool super. Really awesome artwork. Pretty big stats. 1700, 1900 for a four star. Pretty awesome card right there. All right, I have one more ghost for the past. This is it. This is the ghost rare. Come on. Last pack magic. Just like the other last pack magic ghost rare we had recently. Make sure to go check out that video if you guys didn't see it. Whew, come on, dark magician. Fairy tale tales. That's a little redundant. Starry Night Blast. Hyratic Dragon King of a Tum. The Time Thief Redoer. Moment of truth right here, guys. Whew, here we go. Go Shrair. <laughs> Dead coming. One day we're going to get it. All right, guys. This is it for Tim. The final pack. Last time we opened final pack Invasion of Chaos. It went pretty crazy. Whew, let's see if we can do it again. We want to be a member of the big three. A DMOC would be a perfect addition. There it is. Great sign. Chop Man, the Desperate Outlaw. Hiya! That's the guy that blessed us with the first edition BLS. So let's see if he can do it again. Energy Drain. Let's go. Chaos Sork. An amazing Chaos card in common. This is already a lot of great signs. Gora. Where's our Chop Man, Jade Insect Whistle? Chop Man already blessed us before. Can he do it again? Anti-Aircraft Flower. Yellow Luster Shield. We have the Burning Algae. Is this the next card? Let's see. I think it is the next card. Last time we got BLS. Can we get the D-Mock for Tim? Here we go. Final card of the opening. Oh, another super wild nature's release. Three for five. This man is so lucky. Even if he doesn't get a crazy card, he gets three foils out of five packs. Wow, what an awesome Tim. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this and make sure to thank Tim in the comments. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Leah Gwine 62, Another Tai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barney, Mimic Gecko, and Robert F. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.